Hello, beautiful people of the world. This is Seether Court here, and welcome to another special installment of the Seethercast podcast here on the Seether Court channel on the website of YouTube on the internet that is uh, run by the people of the world on the satellites in space. Um, today, we got ourselves on a uh, very special guest who is a fellow YouTube person and a person who uh, makes videos involving the furries and the history. So um, please introduce do, uh, pre, please introduce yourself, a uh, guest of honor who does videos on the history of the furries and the history. Well, I guess I'll just hit my intro. I'm Van Der mm -hmm. and Caroline, and uh, I'm honored to be here, first of all. And I'm Caroline, uh, and basically what happens when someone listens to too much Sabaton, so... <laughs> Yes, that's awesome. Anyways, uh, yes, we do have the Carlian on here. They uh, make a YouTube channel under the name of the Carlian, and uh, particularly you make videos involving history because you love history and you kind of yep. like do your own like snoops and investigations on history and all. Yep. Uh, so basically, uh, before we get into like talking about the videos, let's first uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What got you into being a furry and YouTube? Well, the best, I guess I might as well start at the start, but when I first found out about the fandom's existence, uh, mm -hmm. Basically, it's a video you've covered before in your furry review analysis series. Uh, it was the really? I Hate Furries video by I Hate Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my first in, like first time ever hearing about furries. And my first thoughts were, what the fuck is this? Oh my gosh, so I indoctrinated you into being a furry. Oh my oh, gosh. No. Oh no, no, it's not you. I'll get into that <laughs> But uh Sweet. But uh, basically... I was really weirded out by it at first, because... We know, all are in the beginning. Yeah, we everyone is at the beginning, basically. But, uh, yep. Sorry, I say yep a lot. It's completely alright, don't worry. We'll cut that on post. No, oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but then the... Obviously, that's quite a negative video toward... Well, it's, it's not the most negative, but it's fairly negative towards furries. Because that's sort of his channel format being quite negative. Like, it is called I Hate Everything. His channel should be just rainbows and lollipops and sunshine yes. and I Hate Everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah, pretty much. The, mm -hmm. I, if you've seen his video about parody channels, it's probably as well called that. Mm -hmm. like, you mean like music parody channels or do you just mean like parody channels in general? Parody channels of I Hate Everything. Oh wow! Oh yeah, like I love everything. I moderately dislike everything. Yes, <laughs> there's literally like hundreds of them. I don't know why. It's just like its own subgenre or something. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Uh, but anyways, uh, after that, uh, what kind of led you to being a furry yourself? Well, the next real for a couple of years, then I well, I was about ten when I was watched the I Hate Everything video, ten eleven. Mm -hmm. Then the next sort of significant thing that come sort of got me involved or got me interested at least is when I found out a YouTuber I watch uh, was mm -hmm. actually a furry. Mm -hmm. uh, his name, the YouTube channel name is Nightmind, but he'd been known in the fandom as Nick Nocturne. Awesome. Uh, what kind of content did they make? Uh, they made like horror. They did like reviewed horror web series and such. Oh like, wow, that's wasn't, cool. That wasn't necessarily furry related, but I remember when I first found out. Uh, he was a furry. He made it on like he basically made it on his community tab about going to a convention. It's about two, three years ago. No, probably about two years ago, and I was completely outraged. Oh really? Yeah, basically, I was thinking, how could this person that I, I like be, associate with such degenerates? Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I can get what you mean on that. Yeah, but the, then at times, I sort of, I remember specifically doing like a, a big three paragraph comment, basically telling them. What the fuck are you doing? But then, it's, honestly, I don't know why, but somehow I just cancelled it then. I just didn't mean I ever commented. And honestly, I'm kind of glad mm -hmm. because then someone got me thinking, like saying, if this guy that I respect and makes great content can, like, associate with, like, this sort of stuff, maybe it isn't all that bad, if you know what I mean. Like, that was sort of my You're like, how dare you? Like, how dare you? Kind of in a way, you, yeah. you would say. <laughs> yeah, but but then my yeah my I'll dare you is basically yeah I, I wanted him dead basically. Oh wow, that's a no no that, that that's I, something. 
No, that, I'm not, and that was a joke. I don't. I didn't actually want him dead. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> uh, man. But uh, but yeah, I kind of want to. I want to know like exactly like so. You uh, originally uh, thought furries were weird. Yeah. Then one of your favorite YouTubers was was furries. You didn't like that. What yeah. got to? How do you get from there to I'm a furry now? Well, as I said, uh, I basically sort of re started rethinking, saying like maybe if there's someone I respect and respect and watch mm -hmm. actively isn't a furry is a furry like mm -hmm. maybe it isn't all too bad if you know what i mean huh. yeah some people instead they'll be like oh well they're one of the good ones you know yeah. they're one of the few furries that are okay they're yeah. tolerable yeah uh, i'm glad that you were able to like open up your mind a little bit yeah. to that you know and basically, see the bright side basically then i like just research more into the community and mm -hmm. that's what like i liked it also like mm -hmm. sort of the creativity the stuff you know that sort of stuff mm -hmm. yeah, that's pretty cool now um especially like i assume that a lot of people within our generation or people within the uh people that were maybe uh grew up in like the uh late 2000s to the early 2010s uh we typically uh have spent a lot of our uh, childhood enjoying youtube as our main source of media so yeah. there's a lot of us who are like i want to be a youtuber or i want to yeah. be a twitch streamer well, can, things like that uh, well before, can i add mm -hmm. one more thing on to the yeah to the basically just my story about my involvement in the fandom yeah sure well basically then i sort of joined about november of last year uh, that's mm -hmm. when i joined uh, i made a major mistake if i'm being completely honest because i joined a team for a discord server which oh not, no that was in, in hindsight that was a terrible idea mm -hmm. but, uh, only now do i realize that but basically then uh my, my parents really disapproved of it because uh, the fandom does have a bit of can have some predators in it and they were concerned mm -hmm. about yeah, my sure. safety within yeah and that's community. good that they show concern and i will not deny that i personally myself do feel like there are issues with that uh but yeah so but um i'm glad that you were able to uh at least you know um be a little bit more cautious these days and i feel like a lot of people should be more cautious yeah. especially uh younger members yeah. uh and this is coming from someone who uh first joined the community back when they were like 16 17 and now that i'm 22 i will say after my time on here i haven't really done anything stupid but i have uh witnessed some other people be stupid but uh besides that uh though i must say that uh if i could go now to like since we're all kind of oh, like wait, furries here i have one mm -hmm. thing uh, one, uh, mm -hmm. before we move on to the next topic i would like to say another thing then about my story yeah so i sorry this is a complete disaster by the way the the viewers Mm -hmm. I'm usually used to be following a script, so <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Well, basically, then, uh, but two things that really got me in love with this fandom is actually two YouTubers, one of which is you. Aww. Basically, uh, yep. basically two for YouTubers that had a big impact on me. The first one was Beta Ada Deloda. Oh yeah. Basically, he he was the first for a YouTuber I watched. And then, sort of, he made me fall in love with the fandom, if you know what I mean. Oh my gosh. Like, you made me say, like, before, I was just, like, say, being a furry for, sort of, I don't know, for the sake mm. of being a furry. Not really yeah. fully understanding it, but he, sort of, got me to see what, everything I love about the fandom. You know, stuff he like made that. you see the light. Yes, he And made I was just there the as, like, second place. So. No, no. Basically, and then <laughs> you, and for your Discord server, really made me socialize within the fandom. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, so basically... Sorry if there's barking in the background, by the way. My dog's just mad. No, it's just like, he's just being a good boy, you know? Yes. That's like my, what my girlfriend does. She, like, she'll excuse whatever a dog does. Yep. Like, it'll be like, even if, like, a dog is, like, chasing and attacking an innocent bystander and, like, rips their arm off, she's going to be like, that's a good boy. Yep. That's such a good boy. Good girl. Uh, she's like that all the time. Um, but, yeah... I, but back to like Beta Ea Delota and me, I have a lot of people like compare me yeah. with him quite a bit. I haven't really had that much interaction with him other than like maybe like one tweet and one comment. Yeah. But some people joke that I'm like the store brand. Like <laughs> yeah. how if you go to like a, a like a shopping center or yeah, like a grocery yeah, store, and you see like, like the, uh, the, brand the and such. you have like the the frosted flakes of the Fruit Loops, and then you have like the store brand one from Beta. Basically the same thing. Like yeah. I'm the store brand. Yeah. And he's the more desirable one that's more expensive. Yeah. Yeah, as a bit of a side note, I've 
literally the worst thing on earth in my opinion. It isn't mm-hmm. like the China, China Chinese government. Sorry, YouTube. It isn't anything like that. It's 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 a store brand, store brand cola. It's literally the worst. Oh my gosh! No, about store brand cola. I used to work at a uh, at a grocery store for about three four years. I don't know if they call it a grocery store in Northern Ireland or not. Yeah, they do. Uh, okay, well, I used to work there for a few years. Thank God I don't work there anymore, and I have a better job. But uh, when I worked there, they had this uh, really low quality like store brand. Uh, cola yeah and it was like compared to like the regular name brands yep. like the it was like a two liter and yep. uh the, the regular name brand uh one would be like two dollar two and a half dollars for yep. one two liter and the mm-hmm. the store brand one was only a dollar but it's so much more carbonated and sugary compared to your average soda which isn't saying that much mm-hmm. but it was so carbonated that it literally like cracked the plastic at the top to where the lid is like literally <laughs> it's like just if you drop it it's gonna explode Jesus. so it's that bad for you. It's so much carbonation. Yeah. No wonder it's only a dollar. But yeah. but yeah, um, it's it's like, bes- it's like twenty percent liquid, fifty percent carbon. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but then besides that, um, but anyway, now that if we could finally get to the whole uh, YouTube thing, yeah. uh, I do think that like because there's a lot of people our age that uh, grew up and like enjoy YouTube more than like basic cable TV yeah. and like uh, watching movies. I feel like there's a lot of us like I want to be a YouTuber and all and there's nothing wrong with that but i do feel like a lot of us get a little yeah. too overhyped to that but yeah. some of us kind of like we do it for like a week and then we give up but like people like you and me and a lot of other furry youtubers that have at least a decent following well like i you would and say I, I have a decent following of like you got you got a following come on it's it's a starter you know yeah, it's but, a start, but you got if you stay dedicated yeah. enough it goes yeah. by like i gotta ask like um what really like encourage you to make the type of content that you do and can you also explain what kind of content you specifically make please uh, well, well, if you ever check out my channel, I make history videos mm-hmm. uh, about wide ver- not necessarily not about furry history because that's the, I know there's other channels that does to do that, but uh, I because I'm a history buff personally, I just focus on like human history if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, furry history. <laughs> yeah, like uh, I, but well, there's one other I know of one other Irish furry YouTuber. And uh, they have a series called Fur History. Jacksepticeye. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Jacksepticeye. No, but uh... Uh, yeah. that's good. Uh, but yeah, you basically you just go around talking about the 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 history of the Sphinx in ancient Egypt. Yes, sir. the so... first furry. No, the first furries. But yes, and also the Great War against yes. the Canids and the Sergals yes. and the Protogens. The Protogen War. Protogen war. No, no, it, it was between the canes and the circles, and then the protogens with the space invaders that just came. It's not the it's not the Trojan War. It's the Protogen War. Protogen War, yes. <laughs> okay, but um, I gotta ask also though, like, so you got a lot of interest in making these videos about history and everything, and I remember at some point in the server you spent like a whole like two days, I think, doing that whole like former map of Europe or something or historical yeah. map of Europe. Yeah. yeah I gotta I ask, like, what. What encouraged uh, the drive? What gives you the drive to want to make this kind of content? What makes you want to um, produce uh, these videos about history? Like, what makes you so enticed by history? Well, ever since I can, well, I'd say it was about eight or nine when I started reading a series of books. I'm not sure if they would be big in America, but they're certainly big over here. They're uh, horrible mm-hmm. histories. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's a very. It's also a big like sort of comedy sketch show then but ba- okay. basically it was like a funny way it was like they were basically like kids history books like they appealed to kids like they were humorous they were like ill well illustrated or stuff like that okay It'd be like cartoon characters looking or something like that yeah yeah but like it would have as it as the name implies it would have focused on some sort of horrible parts of history oh wow well, not, it wasn't like necessarily violent or dark, but it was more just, you know, dark as you could get while still being able to market towards children, if you know what I mean. Oh my gosh. It, it, it's make, You're telling me about this and in my brain or in my mind right now, I'm picturing like the Diary of Wimpy Kid books, but like with like historical figures and like yeah. really messed up. Is it like, does the art style look like Diary of Wimpy Kid or something? Uh, that's what has its own art, art style. Mm-hmm. But, uh, Basically, yeah, and then ever since then, I've just been really into history. Like, you could see me, like, when I was 12, like, literally big, massive, thousand-page books, like, 
big, well, oh, wow. it wasn't necessarily deep reading, but it was, you know, like thousand history facts and stuff like that. You just, you were so enticed by history, you would just yeah. like, you would rip out the pages of the history books, put them in a syringe, and like inject it, it into your yes, arm. Yes, just inject. That's I horrible. It. Yes. Oh my gosh. I need that history drive. I need <gasps> it. I need it. It's like uh, that uh, Eric Sponge Andre, let me in. Oh, oh, like, let me in. Let me in. Let me in! <laughs> I'd actually watch oh, Eric God. Andre, but I have a friend that does. Oh gosh, oh, man, yeah. he's crazy. But, yeah, I've heard but, he's uh, crazy. Well, uh, well, it's good that you like those kind of like uh, videos or no, those. Uh, I'm glad that you uh, have a lot of interest into history. And I think it's important that a lot of people uh, be aware of their history, because if you uh, don't know your history, then it's doomed to repeat itself. Yeah. So or as I like uh, to say, those who do not remember the past are doomed to repeat their A-levels. Mm hmm. Yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, you kind of see that in the furry community too. I won't be surprised if there's like another incident at Rainforest if people don't acknowledge yeah. the issues with it, which we're not going to go into on this video yeah. because yeah. I want to keep my monetization. Yes. But, okay. Uh, but besides that, uh, I would assume when you were in school, I assume like history was your favorite subject or something. Yeah, definitely. I, I was more of um, I really liked. Uh, we had it, it's called English class where they make us go through like literature, but it's not yeah. necessarily the same as like history class. Yeah, uh, oh, history yeah, we kind have, of like we have the same over here. Like we had like individually like English and history classes uh, when I uh, was going through uh, uh, I think like uh, the first the second when I first started the second half of my uh, grade schooling. Uh, I guess for like the last seven last seventh sixth and fifth years. That's when uh, yeah. it was mostly like two separate subjects. But then like for my last three or four years of grade school, they kind of like meshed them together. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, they would teach you about important history while also at the same time teaching you like how to use the English language properly. Yes, and uh, uh, yeah, and uh, not how to write Shakespeare in English. Yep, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> uh, man. But uh, besides that, uh, so in terms of your content, like, uh, do you want to go into like uh, really like the process of how you make your content? Because it is a lot of effort I see into your content quite a bit. There's like a lot of editing. I don't know how much time you spend a day or how much time the process for one individual video takes you. Well, uh, but could you go in detail? Basically, first I would start with the topic. Mm -hmm. uh, like, for example, I've only got uh, three videos out at the moment since I only started my channel about two months ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, I knew what my first video was definitely going to be on the 30 years war because one, it's like it's like a good long topic. It's got a bit of Swedish history in there, and obviously, it's like my whole mm. to my whole persona is sort of Swedish based. Sweet. Oh yeah, like you kind of got like the the collie dog going on. Uh, well, I will say since since my uh, it's meant to be an mm -hmm. Irish wolfhound. Oh sweet! It looks. Sorry if I confuse it with a collie, but yeah, they're quite similar. I don't know my dog breeds that well. I love yeah. dogs, but I don't know my breeds. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I will say um, from a distance, looking at the the new face rig application that uh, my uh, partner made for you, it yeah. kind of looks like a koala a little bit. <laughs> I never actually you... noticed that. A koala. Yeah. I need. We need more koala personas. I haven't seen yeah. one. Yeah, I don't. I've never seen one. I mean, we have yeah. like we have kang kangaroos. I've seen a couple of them, but like. We need more superior representation in the van. We need more Australian representation in the community. We have Picari Roo, but uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like everyone who has a, uh, a kangaroo persona, not all, I shouldn't uh, assume, but like pretty much a lot of people who have Australia or have like a kangaroo persona in the community, they have to like, I'm Australian, things like yeah. that. But it's, it's whatever's. Um, Besides that, I, I will no, I will say I have seen uh, one Australian furry within the community that was a Sergal. So you got to yeah. give some more cultural yeah. representation there. Yep. Uh, but besides that, uh, so yeah, like uh, I, I am very impressed with like the amount of editing you use for your content. Uh, yeah. I will say it's uh, pretty impressive, especially for you still being new to the YouTube game. You also got to like uh, learn how to take advantage of the uh, jump cuts and you got to get that Patreon going. And you yes, also got to get that... Uh, you gotta create like a fireplace account, or was it Fire Story? Fire Story, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then get the video and the fun Vimeo fact, and Daily fun, Motion account. I didn't understand how Fire Story worked. I thought it was just an alternative to YouTube. So uh, when I like I rushed to make an account. Oh yeah. And then realizing that you, you have to do like a big review process, and I was like, I like set, spent an hour or two just setting up my account, making it absolutely perfect. Then I realized, oh wait, I can't do anything on this. 
<laughs> the furry community, uh, I don't know how much time YouTube has left before it basically just dies on itself from the yeah. constant like crappy uh, yeah. take of it. Uh, but I will say that uh, the furry community, we should all uh, come together to make our own uh, streaming platform or video making platform. Yeah. Uh, well, and only for furry YouTubers. You can only upload furry content. All the furry YouTubers will go there. Well, I guess I'm out because I technically don't upload furry content, but okay. okay. You, do, you don't even need that. You just have to have like an anthropomorphic profile picture and you can yes. upload whatever you want. Yes. Uh, like one time you said in that other video, uh, your Discord horror stories, just that kid that those Call of Duty videos that has a furry profile pic, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're just there as well. Oh yeah, and then like they don't even have like a recording software to make their, they just yeah. use the PS4 streaming application. Yeah, or even better, uh, Bandicam or Camtasia, not Camtasia, or, what, what's the, what's the oh, one that has like the big watermark on the top? Um, Hyperfilm or something? Like, hypercam, uh, hypercam. Unregistered Hyperlink or something, yeah, hyper, I think. Unregistered Hypercam, yes, that just needs to be on the top. Or no, you gotta go the classic route, like 2007 YouTube. 2007 yeah. Let's Play YouTube, yeah, like, just, put the camcorder in front of the TV. Yeah, put the camcorder in front of the TV. <laughs> and the camera's tilted to where you can't even, you yeah. only, like, the screen, the television screen's tilted, and, like, only, like, 70% of the screen is visible, and then you yeah. have, like, the black bar marks go across the TV and flicker. Yeah. And you can see the reflection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's the classic. And of course, YouTube. the parents' reflection are just sitting there. Just thinking, uh, what, what are they doing? Yeah, and then they have the camcorder inside the shoe box, or in the shoe. I had my one of my close friends, uh, he made his old YouTube videos in a, where he would play gaming videos on his uh, Panasonic TV with the camcorder. He literally put the camera in his shoe. Like, I could understand maybe like a shoe box, but no, he literally took his shoe out, put it on a chair, <laughs> and like just put the camera in the shoe to hold oh, it up on his okay, like okay. iPhone. I'm guilty of that, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, one last thing to add. It's a, it's a vertical recording. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah the black exact bars same. On the side. Basically, I had no camcorder, right? This was when <laughs> I was, I was about nine, maybe nine, ten. Basically, I think it was about nine. Basically, like, like ever since then, like I've always sort of wanted to do YouTube, but this has mm -hmm. been like my first. Well, I've had like two series attempts. Uh, this is my second series attempt. My first one, uh, I just, uh, it wasn't that great. I just, I built up a bit of a toxic community, and basically, it just wasn't that great. Oh, dang. And, but uh, basically, I get back to the story. Basically, when I was nine, like I thought, yeah, one day I'm gonna be a YouTuber, so I'm gonna record these gaming videos with my Nerf camcorder. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> and I would Nerf had a camcorder? What? Yeah. I think oh, it was gosh. Nerf anyway, and I just hold it up on a shoe and just like play Minecraft on my like mm -hmm. on, my, on my crap top with like a cellar on. <laughs> or do you remember those cameras? I think they were called like the flip video cameras. Yeah, I do. There was like a huge advertising campaign here like 10 years ago for them and people were like oh my god these are like these are these brand new cameras that are, like everyone's going crazy over but then like they only had like a limited like storage space and you can only like record for a certain period of time on them, these yeah. little tiny flip cameras. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, it has a USB port, you plug in the computer. Like, yeah, but like the, the camera quality was like very crappy compared to like yeah. most cameras at the time. Yeah. yeah. Basically the sword but, uh, on the gimmick. Mm -hmm. But uh, besides that though, um, I don't know. Uh, it's just kind of, I'm glad that you were able to kind of like retry and hopefully you aren't building as toxic of a community yeah. now as you were back then. I, yeah. I kind of did the same thing or I was going down that pathway. Yeah. And then I, uh, then I started to realize that I was making some really dumb takes in my older videos, which oh, yeah. some of you guys might be aware. If you watch my, my videos from probably like a year ago, it's since the beginning, I would just make takes and I would like, uh, I would just say things in my videos without doing like proper research or I would make certain jokes that like didn't actually hold up. And then like people, uh, no one really called me out on it. I called myself out be like, oh, yeah. I'm making these jokes that clearly like were proven wrong and everything. Yeah, well, or, like, I, used these, like, I, I used to use a lot of edgy humor on my old channel, mm -hmm. uh, basically. And then that sort of almost came back to haunt me when two people I that sort of made enemies with on my old channel discovered this channel, my new current channel. Oh no. And as I said in your server, I might discuss that a bit. They were trying to cancel me and <laughs> such. Oh no. Them. But uh, I managed to resolve it peacefully. Not peacefully, but like. Mm -hmm. Like, we live it's in the same right. town. And my friend was saying, like, oh, come on, we'll fight him, we'll fight him. And then shut him off and stuff like that. But, like, I was like, no, I'm not doing that. So, we're... 
So I find it interesting work. though when you guys say we'll fight him when by fighting like not physical fighting it's just like we'll oh, no, send hate no, comments. No, he meant a physical. One of my friends meant a physical fight, but like uh, they knew them in person. Yeah, well, well they live in the same oh, town wow. as me. <laughs> I'd oh, be man. Then. The, the issue was I don't want everyone in my town knowing that I'm a furry, so <laughs> never a good oh, thing. Oh no! We better get the baseball bat. Yeah, but uh, basically, yeah, but I got it all resolved, and basically, I'm fine now. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I can definitely um understand. Like back, like I feel like a lot of people who still make YouTube videos these days, and I tend to see it more with like the new upcoming YouTubers uh, that are typically like either like. 17 like late teenagers like about to be like full adults to uh from like to like early 20s where they just yeah. and i was i've been like this a lot of the way too like they just think that they could just basically say whatever they want yeah. in their videos and not think they still have the right to it's just that they think there's not going to be any real like repercussions yeah. for saying certain things but then like i don't know i feel like people that like tend to take uh things like too far with maybe with like humor or, like they be too edgy that typically like that yeah. makes the people that watch your video thinks that it's just okay to just constantly be edgy and just like say horrible yeah. things and then it makes just it just makes everything toxic and it just makes yeah. it actually could hurt you in the long run with your content because it yeah, makes definitely. people um feel yeah, like this like, is too toxic i don't want to i'm gonna unsubscribe you know yeah and then you can see like like the jenna marble situation where like stuff you said like literally literal like nearly a decade ago came mm -hmm. back, just came back to haunt you then yeah, and I will deny, I'm not like defending cancel culture or anything. I do think it's still a problem and it sucks, but like, yeah, definitely. Um, I have had to uh, make changes to how I format uh, my content, partly because I don't want to get canceled from cancel culture, yeah. which is definitely a thing. I don't know if it's like big over there or not. Is it kind of there or not really? Well, it's, cancel all, it's, culture. it's everywhere on the internet, basically. But um, mm -hmm. I mean, there are certain people in, in deserve to be canceled. Like, one springs to mind the furry community, which we'll not mention here. Mm -hmm. but, but, but everyone knows who I'm talking about, probably. Yeah, uh, I get what you mean, yeah. There's definitely some people that have been uh, found... Uh, I don't think there's been, like, actual, like, uh, court on it. But, like, yeah, yeah it's kind of uh, obvious. But yeah. I don't know. I feel like the only thing I would say with cancel culture that tends to piss me off is that, like, you're canceling people over, like, a tweet that they made, like, years ago. Yeah, and, yeah. like... You can, like, maybe call them out on it, but, like, instead, you could probably, like, instead of canceling them, just more so be like, hey, guys, this is more so, like, a shitty thing that someone did. We should, instead of, like, just canceling them, just be, like, just be aware kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, but there seems or to be, like, like a out. double standard when it comes to cancel culture. Like, some people will be canceled, others won't. Yeah, it depends on, like, whether or not they like the person. Like, I know, like, I don't know if you heard about the whole, like, Leafy situation. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he got terminated. Mm -hmm. Now there's like people that are glad that he's gone. There, there's like there's three camps of people. There's um, there, there's three types of people in terms of like response to Leafy getting uh camp getting his uh, account terminated. It's this. It's like for the people that don't know uh, who Leafy is, I think most people do. But like he just got his account uh, completely terminated, and YouTube said like he's been breaking community guidelines. He's his community has encouraged harassment, things like that. Yada yada yada. Um, there's three types of people in terms of like how they feel about him getting uh, terminated. There's one, uh, people that are happy that he's gone because he's a toxic person. Uh, B, or did I say one or did I say A? Uh, I forget. <laughs> it's okay. One, there's that. Two, there's uh, people that uh, feel pissed off over him getting suspended because they're like, oh, people are just too sensitive these days or oh, they can't take a joke. And three, there are people that are more neutral about it that don't really like fall on either side. They're like pro or anti leafy that are more concerned about YouTube just um, suspending people just because of like how they personally feel on it. Because there's some people that are claiming that like they've enforced this on leafy after his stuff going on and they terminated him. But Shane Dawson, after he has his stuff that we aren't going to go into and yet he hasn't been terminated yet. Yeah. Um, um, in my personal opinion about Leafy, I never liked him. I always thought he was like super toxic and I think his fans are very toxic too. And he felt, he, he genuinely, in my opinion, has one of the most like toxic, uh, communities out there of people that watch his content. Cause I have heard of people just getting harassed just because they maybe like act weird in their videos. And then it got to the point of actually like, uh, making fun or judging people based off of them having disabilities and everything. And I do think that's, uh, wrong. And I do think, uh. Yeah, but I definitely understand, like, the uh, freedom of speech issue. I'll, I'll say two things about that. Uh, one, mm -hmm. I used to be a Leafy fan. Uh-huh. This, well, this was a couple of years ago. 
but uh, mm -hmm. basically that was basically my edgy so my edgy phase. Mm -hmm. But basically then uh, secondly, like if you hear about if you know the kid that went to the like you no know, Leafy, like you know the sort of I'm not sure what country, but like kill yourself. Have you heard mm -hmm. of that kid? Apparently, you uh, kill mm -hmm. kill yourself. You fucking and another word. Yeah, uh, I get what you mean. But uh, basically, he got bullied senselessly in both real life and online for like, li like so bad that I believe he became really depressed and quite suicidal. Like, mm -hmm. So like, the yeah, so you know, stuff like that can actually affect people. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, I do think that's uh, unfortunate. Uh, now, I do think uh, I don't feel like Leafy is uh, fully to blame. Now, at the end of the day, I will say this: like, we can all agree that Leafy is just an asshole. He's a uh, not a cool dude. But in terms of him getting suspended, I do think that we shouldn't fully give all responsibility to him. Yeah. Like, for one, like if it wasn't for him being such a jerk in his videos, then he wouldn't have encouraged people to be crappy. But at the end of the day, people are still people and it's, it's still his fans that do this stuff. So it's kind of yeah. like a weird balancing thing. Yeah. And I feel like people from either side should probably like discuss it more and try to like maybe come to like a, a middle ground on it. But in terms of like um, how YouTube handles it, I do think there is definitely a concern because yeah. I do feel like YouTube does show like favoritism in terms yeah, of their yeah. creators. Like for example, but, Logan um, Paul, like what he did was if any other creator had done that, like any smaller creator, their channel mm -hmm. would have been take would have been nuked off the face of the earth. But since it was Logan Paul, like obviously, it's mm -hmm. like he's so big and he's one of their big family friendly creators. Like he he pretty much just let off. Mm -hmm. I get what you mean. Uh, I would say like Logan Paul, he is a little bit different now. I hear yeah, that I don't really different. follow the Paul brothers. I hear yeah, his I brother Jake is still kind of crazy. Yeah, Actually, yeah. um. I hear yeah, that the U.S. the U.S. government is currently investigating him because of a giant party that he threw, or no, something right now. No, I think I think it's because he didn't pay his taxes. I don't that's, know. That's what I've heard. Like he didn't pay his ta like basically he held off by paying his taxes, and now like he's getting a visit from the tax people, FBI because <laughs> he didn't pay his taxes. It's, it's, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, other than that, um, yeah. Besides that, uh, content, I guess. When it comes to being edgy and like saying like offensive things just to be offensive, like again, I think that's just part of being um, uh, being at a certain age, being like a teenager who uses yeah. the internet, and maybe like a teen tween. I see maybe like 11, 12 year olds do that, but yeah. some people are concerned because people don't know like, oh, how are the future generations going to be? How are these people when they're older? I feel like I have some hope because I myself, I used to be kind of edgy too. But um, yeah, when I was younger, I will say uh, some elder like boomers and uh, Gen Xers are concerned with how uh, millennials and like Gen Zers, like when they're younger, they uh, tend to be more like edgy online. But what gives me hope is the fact that um, typically like that kind of like edginess online and that toxic stuff that yeah, we see. Really it, real life. Yeah, it, no, it, not just that, like it starts to like fade away even online as they yeah. get to like That's mid to like early 20s that stuff yeah. kind of fades away which i've seen yeah. it with myself i saw it with you um and it sees it i see it with quite a, other, a lot of other people too like even back when i was a uh, 15 and 16 i had some really toxic people and we were like just being jerks to each other and didn't like each other we actually um years later now that we're like in our early 20s that stuff kind of faded away so like this this kind of like fear that like kind of elderly and middle-aged people have that like us young people are just gonna constantly be like this for the rest of our lives like it's kind of it's more of just like a phase kind of thing, at least to me. Not saying that all of us are just going to be pure. There's still going to be like jerks and everything, but uh, I have hope, personally. Yeah, like personally, I can't imagine a world where ever we're just sixty-year-olds, like we're sitting <laughs> in elderly people in retirement homes, just just, just saying, like being edgy to each other, like throwing out, <laughs> like just saying like uh, kill yourself. Like oh that. gosh. Okay, and I we're going to be saying that. the exact same stuff, I'm pretty sure. Like, by the time that we're, like, in our 40s or 50s, like, the new 20-year-olds, we're going to be saying, like, these 20-year-olds are so horrible, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's just the process. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I think that was a good discussion overall. Uh, is there any last few things you want to mention before we uh, sign out for today? Uh, well, not really, no. Uh, well, if you don't mind, uh, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to his YouTube. Uh, check out his Facebook, his MySpace, his Instagram his uh uh his snapchat his kick 
all that I, good jazz. I don't, I don't think I have. I, I I only have one of them. I think. Last ones I <laughs> follow them on Twitch. Follow the Carlin on Twitch. Yes. Uh, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Insta, not Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and if you would be so kind, uh, join my Discord. And donate to their Patreon. Donate yeah. five thousand dollars a month. <laughs> yes, to uh, see for Patreon, and uh, only if he halves it with me though. Steal your parents' credit card, and no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. But anyways, uh, thanks again to Carlene for having you from coming on to the show. Uh, no I think problem. you're uh, pretty uh, an dope. Yep, uh, an honor. You feel honored. Yes. I've been knighted by the Queen of England. No, but uh, <laughs> this seriously oh, yeah. had a like this like this has a big um, like when I first found out the possibility of us collabing, I literally freaked out because like it. It's a new experience. It's someone you actually actively watch and, you know, mm -hmm. enjoy their content. It's like thinking, oh my god, they actually, they they actually think I'm decent. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Don't worry. Yeah, it's a new experience. Uh, but I, I appreciate you wanting to come on. And yeah. also, again, uh, thanks again for coming on, the Carlian. Thank yeah. you, everybody, for watching. If you enjoy the content and want to further help out this channel, and the Carlian's channel, check out all the Carl the Carlian's uh, social media. I'll be linked down in the description diddly do down below. Uh, make sure you donate to my Patreon. Also remember to smash that like button. Turn on that notification bell. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, uh, down, uh, if you don't want to do a, a monthly donation on Patreon, uh, do like a one-time donation on Coffee. And uh, remember to subscribe altogether, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I have been Seath Record, and I've you been have been the Carlian. Yes, yes, the Carlian. And I, I know, we'll see, we'll see you in the next video, I guess. We'll, we'll see you. <laughs> We'll see you in the next video. Uh, laters, people. Later. Uh, this is awkward. Bye. Bye. <laughs>